Hello teachers and kids, welcome to Pancrest Avalon Career Day. Hi. Hi! What are we going to talk about today? Today we're going to talk about aviation. It sounds interesting. Yes, it is interesting, but today we're going to talk about the maintenance and a little bit about the flying. What type of planes do you have at work? Well, we have Cessna 172s, uh, Cirrus SR20 and Piper Archer. How does the airplane fly? Well, let's go learn about it. Alright kids, so I'm going to tell you how does the airplane fly. So, this propeller is attached to the engine. So when we start the engine, the propeller starts moving. And it produces the thrust. Meaning it pushes air through to the back. And it's a lot of air. So when it pushes through the air, the aircraft starts moving forward. So on the runway, aircraft run faster and air crosses over the wing and under the wing. So under the wing there's a lot of air pressure that is then start going up and start flying. So once it starts flying, how do we control the air? So there are some controlled air surfaces. This area of the wing is called aileron. When we have to move the aircraft, we move the aileron. This is called elevator. Elevator has also has a movable part. So when we pull on the yoke in the cockpit, this piece of the elevator goes up. When this goes up, the wind is striking, push it down. When this goes down, the nose goes up and we start going up. And this, this is called rudder. We can move it by left and right and it's control the movement of the airplane like this. It's called yaw. So elevator, when it goes up, when it's headed, most goes up, when we bring it down, when it's hit from bottom, it goes up and nose goes down. Let's go inside the uh, cockpit and I'll show you how it works. Now inside the cockpit, those this is called yoke. This is what we use to go left and right. This here is our throttle. We give more power and bring the power back. And this is fuel control. We full. There's a lot of fuel going to the engine. With the full power, we go fast and we take we take off. When we take off, we pull back. The plane goes up. When we have to come down, we bring this down and then comes down. Left and right. And this is how it's very simple aircraft and it's very easy to fly. Oh wow, that's so great! Yes, it is. And that was Cessna 172. Uh, let's go to my friend uh, Jonathan Wren. He's going to tell us a little bit about uh, Sirius SR20. Over to you, John. All right, kids, I have uh, Jonathan with me. He's a pilot and a mechanic. So he's going to tell us about the airplane, how it does fly, and how we do a maintenance on the airplane. So this is our SR20. And how it produces power is we have a reciprocating engine and a propeller that comes over to our wings, which produces thrust. And our wings produce lift. And if you walk around, which control your roll. You have a secondary flight control, which is flaps. You just come down, just slow the plane down, and you attack the landing and slower landing speed. You have the elevator. 
elevator attached to your horizontal stabilizer, which produces pitch, so the plane can go up and down. And a rudder, which goes left to right. Go. So this is a cockpit of our SR-20 aircraft. And how you control the airplane is your side yokes. You have your pitch, so if you want to go up, you pull back. If you want to go right, you go right on it. Push forward for nose down, and left for roll right. You have your rudder pedals for yaw. Your fuel mixture, that would be fuel on, and your throttle to control the power for the plane. The secondary flight control flaps that we talked about earlier are right there. And you have three settings. Your lights. and your navigation and engine monitor in. Your direction heading, your pitch, so it tells you the degrees of pitch and roll, your altitude, how high you are, and how fast you're going. And then you have a vertical speed up and down, which is minutes, feet and minutes. And then you have backups, which are your standard instruments. Airspeed, pitch, bolt, and your altitude to tell you how high you are. Your engine instruments, we have engine RPM, manifold pressure, percent of power, oil temperature, because this is an oil-cooled engine only, no liquid, and oil pressure. Exhaust gas temperatures, we have six cylinders, we have six EGTs. Cylinder head temperatures, we have six CHTs, so six temperatures for that. Your battery voltage and your fuel flow. You have a fuel gauge. This plane has roughly about four and a half hours of flight time, so to be safe, you keep it down to four with a selection in between your left and right tank. Well, let's go uh, learn some about the maintenance part. So I have uh, Dwayne right with me, and Dwayne is going to tell us about how we do maintenance on the Cessnas. Hey kids, how's it going? My name is Dwayne Wright. I'm a QA inspection authorization uh, mechanic here at uh, L3. Uh, what we're doing here is a 100 hour inspection on the plane. And uh, so what you basically do is you got to take the cowling off, you got to pull the plugs out, you can clean them. If there's anything wrong with them, when you test them, then, then we would replace the spark plugs. We drain the oil, we drain the carburetor. If it has a carburetor, some planes do, some planes don't. Uh, but we're trying to inspect the whole airplane during a 100-hour inspection. Every 100 hours, this plane comes in here and we perform an inspection. If it was your own airplane, you wouldn't have to do that. But you'd have to do it once a year. So, uh, anyways, pretty much what we do, uh, pull the spinner off, check the prop over, make sure there's no nicks in the blades of the prop. All we're trying to do here is to make sure there isn't anything that might uh, come about when you're flying. So, uh, this place hasn't uh, left anybody up there when they're flying. That's what we don't want to do, is leave anybody up there. So, anyways, uh, then we come over here to the uh, airframe. And the airframe, usually what happens is one person does the engine and prop, and another mechanic does the airframe on the plane. We open up all the panels to inspect the wiring. There's wires in there. Uh, there's cables in here. The cables, of course, are made to allow the airplane to turn right or left for the ailerons and the flaps. The flaps are to help it come in to land. Uh, you probably hear something about that in the pilot part. Uh, the 
pull the wing tips off to inspect down through the wing. Uh, most stuff we look for is corrosion. Uh, usually there isn't any, any other problems, but being here near the ocean, uh, there could be corrosion problems. Then we uh, back here in the tail. We look at the ELT up and up inside to the right. There's the ELT. It might be hard to see because it's way up in the hall up there. And then uh, back here. Of course, we're checking the cable. There's cables all inside that uh, fuselage. I call this a fuselage. This is a horizontal stack. And we do uh, check for the elevator. Elevator is what makes the plane go up and down, just like you're at a doctor's office, you go up and down the elevator. Well, this makes the plane go up and down. And then the rudder, we have to check the rudder. During an annual inspection, which is a yearly thing, we have to check all the cable tensions and you know, make sure that cable tensions are correct and the rigging is correct. So inside the cabin area, this is the cabin, we take the seats out, we take pretty much a lot of the interior out, we pick up the floor, there's inspection holes in the floor, and we just check the cables and just look for anything, the seat tracks, seat tracks down here is what the seats sit in, we check those out, there's different model airplanes and there is some different types of inspections to do on the seat tracks. Uh, the electronics, there's not too much to check on them because usually uh, the radios and stuff, which is a problem, they're gonna, the pilots will write it up. That's nothing that we really need to check if they didn't write it up and we don't need to fix it. Back seat's taken out so we can spec back seat. Uh, of course, there's a gear box, I call it a gear box with a landing gear. Uh, attaches to the airframe. We have to look that over and make sure uh, that is not something wrong with it. Uh, the fuel tanks are up on top. That's what this step is here and a step here with a handle uh, so you can get up there. And with us we usually use a ladder but there's a fuel cap up there. And, uh, you know you have to look to make sure because all this area right here is where the fuel tank is and so you want to make sure there isn't any leaks. Tires, we usually pull the wheels off uh, every 100 hour and grease the wheel bearings. This plane, of course, planes don't have, usually have idiot lights on it, like a car. So, and of course you don't really care about flying and have an idiot light come on and say, you know, check engine light. Because when you're in the air you don't want something like that. But uh, they do have a light come on to tell you maybe like if the alternator is not working. This here is the alternator here. And, uh, this puts out voltage to the battery, just like you do on your car. But if you end up bad, your alternator quits, then you end up, you're gonna have a problem with your radios and your lights. So you gotta get on the ground, but it's not an immediate thing. But, uh, pretty much that's a full description of uh, inspecting a, an airplane. There's a lot more to it, but yeah, it's, this is just a description. And I hope it helped you out. Go flying. Well, thank you so much, Duane. That was very informative. Uh, let's go to uh, Jonathan Ren again. He's going to tell us about uh, the maintenance on Cirrus SR20. how we do maintenance on the plane. Every 100 hours it comes in, we open up the plane, take the engine cowlings off, 
we open up the, the interior, we take the wheel boots off, the engine gets fresh oil, the spark plugs cleaned or changed, we change the oil filter as we have our can here doing, and we check timing for ignition as the spark might combustion. We repack the wheel bearings every hundred hours, and when you look at the inside of the plane, it's all torn apart. And we check for loose and broken items, because that would be the last place you want the failures in the air. So we remove the wing tip and the aileron, which has your control of the side. Make sure everything's there, tight, not broken, cables coming in through. And you have your flaps coming down. Everything gets open, all the wing panels, so we can inspect inside. And all the interior gets removed. One thing special about this plane, it does have a parachute that deploys if you ever get in trouble. You pull the chute and it should glide you down the safe. Seats are removed, which have airbags for safety. And all panels get opened. We look in everything, check the cables, go back to your flight controls. be it for your maintenance inspection. Wow, that was a very good information. I love it. Well, yeah, it was some good information. How do you fly a plane and how does it feel like? Well, uh, well, let's go and fly and see how does it feel like. Okay.
is it for now. I hope you guys really liked it and enjoyed it. So take care and have fun. Bye. Bye.